going in and then you hear the truck sound good. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Miss Joro. I'll be doing a twin flame reading for Tuesday, March 30th onwards. This weekend's going to be pretty busy, so I thought, yeah, go a few days ahead. Okay, let's see what the King of, of the Moon Oracle cards say. It's going to be full moon this weekend, but this reading will come out just after that, so let's see how we go with the energies. Thank you decided to go indoors today it is raining two more cards please two more cards please hope everyone's week's been okay it has been full on <gasps> whoa, whoa 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 okay fear sovereignty and the masculine oh this could be a goodie wow this fear card someone's I think some of you feminines out there are actually worried what could be, what might can happen. They say fear blocks flow, so uh, just like I said last week, punch through it, whatever is actually, I have a feeling you're you're fearing uh, this guy coming along. There's talk a lot about union, etc., and you're just thinking, oh shit, what's going to happen if they do turn up in my life? What am I going to do? Is my life going to be topsy-turvy all over again? I've worked so hard, I've worked so hard all this time during the separation, I've become sovereign, I've become queen, empress, holding the world. I've become the divine feminine. I thought, well, working so hard and then, but at the same time, you're really fearing uh, this union because this guy might turn everything to shit once again. So anyway, let's see what the cards say. I don't think you should be worried. If anything, maybe both parties might be actually worrying about getting into communication again. But at the same time, things are happening around, things are moving along things are starting to no longer be stagnant although this fear is actually making you guys feel stagnant okay let's see what the cards say i don't have much room for the cards today i don't have the big table i'm actually on top of the treadmill conveyor belt okay here we go we've got nine of swords still not sleeping well guys okay all this came out oh this is so similar week after week after week what's going on okay arguments fighting maybe these guys are a couple of weeks behind the other week i talked about a lot of confrontation conflict etc uh, i think there's still more to come okay and fruits of your own labor Okay, at a glance, at the bottom of the deck is Hangman. Top of the deck is Ace of Cups. Awesome. Stick it up there. Oh, I've got no place to stick these things. One over there. Oh. Anyway, okay. You're having sleepless nights. You're worried about the truth. You're worried about things to be revealed. There is a new beginning, but things will be revealed. The world is going... Some parts of the world is getting better, other parts of the world it's going to shit. But things are turning around now, things are moving. The season is changing. We are, well, down here we're moving into autumn or fall and up there you guys are going through spring. So there's changes to be made. What is this fighting about? There's squabbling going on again. This could be through work or whatever, but there is squabbling happening around you. You could be in the mix, you may not be in the mix or it could possibly be, hmm, would it be in a struggle? Let's see what happens. And then you've, you're you waiting for your harvest to happen. You're waiting for your investments to, to come through, your finances. You guys have worked so hard, but anyway, I'll just clarify that more. Okay, what's these sleepless nights? Again, what's the truth? What's the world? I need to clarify these cards. Hangman. Different perspective on life. Ace of Cups. Love coming in. Love is coming in. Okay. Oops. That was... Ooh, that sort of spun around a bit, didn't it? Six of Cups in reverse. Someone from the past is coming in. The star. They are the star. Could be memories. Memories. Topsy-turvy. 
Old moon, oh, the moon, the star and the moon, full moon. Oh, okay, this will be next week, so something's happening in this moon phase anyway. Some secrets are coming out. Okay, secrets are coming out. What else? Secrets are coming out. Um, I'm actually an intuitive reader. Messy at that. I will get messy year with this spread because I've got no room. Okay, seven of wands. You're defending yourself. What's going on? You're fighting off people. You're standing your ground. Let me think. Standing your ground. You're standing your ground. Oops, that's popped out. Wow. Yep. Gone upside down. Mm, Knight of Wands. Let's see how that's going to go. Knight of Wands. Someone's coming through. Oh, let's see if I'm going to read that in reverse. Let's see where we go from here. Oh, wow. Six of Cups in reverse. That means someone's denying a memory. They're not thinking of the past. They're trying to think of the present, which is a good thing because you should always think of the now, as in as per, you know, as per Eckhart Tolle. But they're pushing back pain of the memories they've had in the past, possibly. You or the Divine Masculine are pushing back the pain that you once had a fairly good thing going, but there was a lot of painful uh, a painful breakup maybe. There's also a star thing. There's also a bit of hope that there still might be a union on its way, either you or them, wishing on a star. But they also see you as a star, that both of you are actually thinking that you guys are their sparkle. Oh my god, I'm getting worse. Anyway, and the moon, still a lot of deep-seated secrets occurring in here, a lot of mystery, you don't know what the other one's doing, you're just wondering, you've just completely lost communication with them, and it's kind of scary, and you're, you're really battling with it, you're really battling with yourself, and because you're being such a shitty person, battling with other people potentially. Uh, yeah, I could say that too. But th there is a success happening after the truth is coming out. There is a full circle or cycle that's going to occur. Once the truth comes out, I don't think you can suppress the truth much longer. And this Knight of Wands, ooh, I have a feeling the Divine Masculine has backed the truck up. They have lost their confidence or they were overconfident or some shit went I don't know, they might have seen something like something you've done on social media or they might suspect that you might be with someone or or you haven't left someone or whatever and they think you get, I'm, I'm going in and then you hear the uh, truck sound go. Probably. Um, yeah, let's, let's see what's going on. Why are they backing the truck up? What? I've invested so much, yeah, I understand why they are backing the dress. Sort of confirms this card. They've worked so hard. Maybe they've, you guys have worked so hard to get to this level of sovereignty. You've done a lot of work in a healing, etc. Maybe the, your current investments are... Oh, I don't know. Let me think. Let me think. Two of Cups. Holy oh, Two of Cups obviously you guys want to get together you guys work so hard why is it just struggle why is it a struggle oh too many cards why is it a struggle why why the truth is hard why why are you guys pushing it down pushing back the memory the Emperor, is it some sort of father figure authority, some, some legality that's heading over you to go into public? But you guys are going into public very soon. You're going to speak your truth. I think when you do get together, it's going to come out uh, and there's going to be authority issues. Also possibly be that you're saying, you know what, fuck it. And uh, I'm sovereign, I'm strong, I could move forward. I could move forward. I've invested a lot in myself. I'm still struggling. I'm still struggling to go towards them in public. Okay. Oh, side note. I think something's happening with the royal family next week. Well, yeah, well, as if it hasn't been. Possibly. Oh, I just, mm, this is this is a long shot. What's going to happen with Prince Philip, I wonder? something about 
Ooh, the queen. Okay, anyway, might take that out. All right, let's go, let's go. What is the struggle? Why has someone, okay, they're still going through, oh, this is a Scorpio card. Someone is still going through major transformation. Either you or them, you and them, this is way, 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 way too, you get, okay, I suppose it's only been, you can't, I suppose, expect transformation to happen overnight. So there's still, or you're still going through the pain, you're still going through the struggles of people around you, possibly struggles with authority, you're trying to break down, you're trying to break things down. You, um, I have a feeling maybe the Divine Masculine is not quite ready, even though every they've lined up their ducks, but they're not ready to move just yet. I'm not sure if they're waiting, waiting for something some sign the world card they're waiting for a sign what is it for the world to get become a better place for you and oh no, that's a michael jackson i'm not going to sing it and they're still feeling trapped eight of swords they're waiting what are they waiting for the universe to hand them or are you or them waiting for the universe to to hand you something out because you, you guys are still feeling trapped I don't know why you guys are still feeling trapped. I think you guys are paranoid of telling your truth. There's a different perspective. I mean, you've obviously been, both of you have woken up to what your union is about, but you're still feeling, you or them are still feeling trapped. They, oh, the truth is um, very hard for them. Or you... Yeah, because you know it's going to be a lot of hardships. Oh, there's going to be a lot of hardships. That's what your fear is. The fear of you guys coming out would be quite destructive and you're going to feel like you're going to be in povo for a period of time. Yeah, it's just a fear. Fear blocking. Fear blocks flow. You or them are really paranoid. You're blocking it. You're pushing it down. You're having nightmares. You guys are. If you guys don't move, you're going to get sick. You guys are going to end up being sick. What's this one? Chariot. Okay. Okay. Are they moving forward or are you moving? I think they're moving forward. They're moving forward. They're moving forward. What's what's happening? Travel. They're traveling. When travel opens up, there's a bit of a charge moving forward. I think they're ready to go. I think maybe initially they might have backed the truck up, but then they've, things are aligned Waiting for some alignment to happen and then they're going to charge through. Oh, this is getting messier. And tower moment. Yes, well, okay, maybe your fears might come true. Okay, the tower moment. Well, it's well, tower moment doesn't have to be a bad thing. It can just mean things just... The universe is going to slap you guys. I said this last week. To another well could be the same group or another group there is a tower moment there is a sudden upheaval of things that is going to be punched through and you guys have to face it okay let's see what else okay ace of cups it's new beginning so that tower moment will bring in the new beginning it's gonna bring the love that you need you guys both need it is the new beginning so after a major upheaval, you guys are coming together. So maybe the universe is at play here too, huh? Maybe, maybe something major in the world. Well, something's already major happening in the world. But something major, major. <laughs> defeat. Five of swords, defeat. What does that mean? You're leaving... Yep, like last week, there is collateral damage. You're just deciding to, yep, I'm out. I'm out of here. There's people you can see. You 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 feel bad about what's going on, but people's there's going to be you're going to lose people back their backs towards you. One's actually crying over there, and but you're just sort of standing there with two swords, both of you coming to the truth. One sword down. I think you guys are. Uh, coming to your truth there'll be a battle and there are people who are going to walk away this is very similar to last week although this group is blocking their feelings they still live in fear of 
coming into union and there's possibly uh, breaking up of partnership. I think the other week was that they were working on their current karmic relationship because it was fair, but this week it is coming to a head and it's not working. So that's where things will move on. That's when the separation is going to happen and move towards the union. Let's see if I could get any more cards out of this. Any last, any last things that we need to know about? Is there anything else that we need to know about? <laughs> yep. Hard and fast. They're coming through, traveling through. It's happening, and it's going to be quick. I think once once this tower moment occurs and a breakup, uh, whatever there's possibly breakup or whatever with their karmics, there's a battle. They're charging towards you. They are charging to what? It's going to happen fast. Communication. Bang, bang, bang. Oh man, see, you leave it too long and it just gets a bit nuts. Okay, any more cards? Anything else? Let's see, is this next card going to make sense or not make sense? Have I pushed the envelope too much? What's this one? Nine of Pentacles. Oh, let me think. You know what? I think this card represents that when you guys start communicating both of you will be you're going to think it's worth it all that struggle you've been having throughout your separation and and coming in especially the divine feminines who suffered a lot i think you will come into your own sovereignty and your strength you stop blocking the flow of you and your twin and you are allowing things to happen you've become actually more independent maybe the communication has kind of made you feel more at ease and and have given you more confidence and it's, it's given you your sovereignty that either way, you guys, can, you're not desperate this time. You're not clinging on. You're not having um, too much shadow work going forward. You might even start thinking, gee, I forgot how much of a dick this guy was. But well, he's not as, as godly as you thought that they were. They were actually just as human as you are. And, and I think both of you, I think, because of your energies at a much higher frequency, I think both of you will still have your own sovereignty, independence, but you're at peace for whatever's going to happen moving forward in your relationships, whether it's a forever union, a temporary union, whatever, but it, it's somehow going to leave you at a much better place once you start communicating. Or you might hear something that you think, uh, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on my own. Okay, let's see what if Americards can narrow it down. One. True love. What else? Oh, <laughs> this guy's turned up again. Young male. That hairy looking guy. That that sort of yeah. Are they driving by, are they? Oh, who's this? Young yeah, could be someone's son. Well, obviously it is someone's son, but it could be one of you, you or the divine masculine son that might come into the picture. Oh, control, what? Oh, some of you are still in control. This came out last week. Control, control. Are you controlling your feelings? Are you still being puppeted by some, some of you still got that karmic situation going? Oh. Ice King? Ice King? What? What? Are you going to still think they're an asshole or something? Maybe there isn't. Ice King, who's Ice King? Is this the Emperor? No, 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 no. Let me think. Ice King. Control. Is it a is it a father figure? Maybe it's a father figure thing. Okay, let's okay, so that was for a small collective of you guys. Let's see what the romance cards say. What does the Okay, that's already straightforward. This is how they feel about you. Unrequited love. 
express your love and getting to know each other. Now, this has come up a few times, getting to know each other. I think both of you might be feeling or one of you might be feeling that, oh, are they going to return? Do they, Are they feeling the same way as I'm feeling about them? I think that's where the fear is coming in, the fear of kicking in. Like the, the risk... The risk seems too great. It's it's blocked. They they don't want to be in their truth. They're trying to avoid. Um, they're pushing their pushing their memories down. They're worried that if they come into communication or you come into communication, it might not be the same. It might be quite. It'd be different, and I think it will be different because you guys have grown um, after all this time, and it's definitely telling you to express your love and to yep express your truth. To express your truth okay that's the only way around it you've got nothing to lose <laughs> well probably massive to... anyway express your truth get to know each other again don't fear the unrequited because i don't think it'll ever be unrequited between the both of you with the moonology cards do this every time a full moon is around the corner maybe though it'd be for next week it's going to be a crazy month Nothing is yet set in stone. Not cut. Okay, that one's slip out. Expect powerful change. Yep. Oh, that one flew out. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Okay. Nothing is set in stone. So things are still shifting still things are still moving around the world is still turning and this is where the law of attraction comes in a manifestation of things to come if you uh, will it it will come <laughs> and expect powerful change yes there's going to be a tower moment there's a massive shift energy shift going on in the world at the moment and it's also to balance the spirituality and practicality i think over here it's She's holding the the sphere in her hand. And also, if you look in this picture, there's the two fish circling around. It's almost like a yin and yang. I think both of you would be uh, sniffing each other's tails at the beginning just to work things out, to uh, figure out where, where the other one is at and getting to know each other. Okay, let's recap. This is going to be really messy. I don't have much room here. So basically you are fearing, I think both of you are fearing from union. You, When you fear something, you block the flow. You, you, you're still trying to work hard on your sovereignty, your, your own strength. I think especially the divine feminines, they've been, you guys have been meditating a lot. You guys have been getting into working on your shadows, etc. I think you're becoming good. You, you are becoming sort of an empress level. Now the masculine is coming in and I think... The energies have been like that for a number of weeks now, which will bring, again, new beginning and new love into your union. Now, a lot of you are still having sleepless nights, stressed, etc., of what's going on. You guys are blocking a good memory, something from the past, and you're pushing it right down to a point where you're sort of ignoring your actual truth. You have this wishful thinking of of the other person. You're, you're, hoping, you're hoping things will will happen there's still a lot of secrets that you're keeping hidden within yourself and also you don't know what the other one is up to so you're actually wondering what the hell is going on over there the world is coming in and there's going to be a full circle full full cycle of things to come it is churning around regardless of you trying or both of you trying to stay stagnant there's still battles happening around you. Um, there'll be toxic people. There'll be a lot of arguments, squabbling, a lot of energy shifts. You're leveling up to a higher frequency and, and people around you can't really cope of your, the, the changes that are happening with you. There's a lot of things you're defending because they don't understand why why you're changing, why you're not the same person, yada, yada. You, you have a different perspective in life. You, you look at things differently than what you're used to in the past, probably even the last 12 months for that matter. It sounds like the Divine Masculine has backed the truck up on you. They were going in, but something something came up and they just thought, yeah, no, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. Even though they are ready, they're, they're waiting, they've worked hard themselves. You both worked hard on yourselves and you, you're supposed to reap the fruits of your labour, but for some reason uh, the Masculine has back 
the trucker. Okay, so these clarifying cards, death is coming, as in big changes are happening. There is definitely a union, the Two of Cups coming through. I think this, you or them are still worried coming out in public about your actual truth of what this is all about, your union, and things are charging forward. Things are actually charging forward, whether you like it or not. You, you might still feel trapped. You're worried about the blowout, that it will leave you in a financial hardships or, you know, just getting into a worse state. But because of you guys are not moving, there is a, a tower moment that's kept happening again. The universe is doing that to you because you need to have a new beginning in life. You are going to fight battles. There will be collateral damage. Loved ones will be walking away because they don't understand what is happening. You try to work things out with people, but it's not working. Therefore, you're moving forward. Both of you are moving forward. There is communication hard and fast for, for both of you. And it might be to a point where it satisfies the both of you of what actually is happening. It, keeping it real. You're not imagining each other to be something greater than they're not. You guys will find, or especially Divine Feminine will find her own independence, her own sovereignty, and being in a good place. But also there's the Emperor coming in. Now, this Emperor could be the Divine Masculine coming into their power. But it's also come out here through Amira's cards, as it could be a father figure, an authority figure, etc. For some of you, not all of you, there is uh, the true love of your twin or soulmate coming through. And it's those who have a young male who's actually... Uh, probably driving past your place, but uh, there's a daddy issues. There's daddy issues. The divine feminine or masculine's parent is uh, still controlling you or them for actually spending time together, having a good time. It could be a boss, it could be an authority figure, etc. Now the romance cards um, is again saying you guys are worried that the other one's not feeling the same way as you, but or vice versa. But there is love. You guys need to express your love and getting to know each other again from scratch. Now with the Moonology card, cards are saying nothing is set in stone yet. If you want it, you take it. If you don't, walk away from it. But uh, nothing is set in stone. Nothing is completely def definite. So you still, you two have the power to change things and then expect powerful change, especially if you're twins. It's quite a strong energy and that will create... Or it has created, or that will, or will to come, a tower moment. And then balance will come in between the both of you. Balance, harmony, and union. Again, balancing the spirituality and practicality. The yin and yang, chaos and control. That's a twin thing in union. Not all going to be roses. There's going to be balances. Okay, so I might leave that with you guys for this week. I hope you have a lovely week or Easter if I don't catch you then. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe and wait for the song that would relate to this spread. Okay, see you then. Bye. The song I chose for the love reading is Relax Your Mind by Boys to Men. Now, I'm not... I don't mind them, <laughs> okay? And that song came into my head about a few days ago. Again, round and round in my head. So have listened to that. The video clip is pretty much non-existent. So uh, just listen to the words. And I think that's kind of where everybody's at. Just relax. Okay, catch you then. Bye.